Hello. In this video, we're going to go through the practice session and we're going to see the first uh, document they have given so that uh, the specialists can prepare themselves better for the test. The first document is uh, the project types where they talk about the details of the, of the main project types conducted on the platform. What are the different types of projects that you have uh, seen all this while? They are going to talk about this in detail in this document. Okay, so I've clicked on this uh, download and it has opened in a different document. You can see there are 14 pages. Let's go through them one by one. Project types. Now they're saying that in this document we are going to see project overview, understanding, brush up, visual enhancement, and other projects. So these are the three different kinds of projects that you can get on the platform. Now these documents are very important as I told you earlier as well so pay uh, attention to the, the documents and the explanation that I am going to take you through. Now you are going to get, uh, you are going to work on three types of projects on the platform. Okay, One is brush up, one is visual enhancement and the other one is uh, Excel to PPT or notes to slides like that. Okay. Now brush up would be around 30% of the work that you do. Visual enhancement would be around 60% of the work that you do and for only 10% time you will be creating definite or, or fresh PowerPoint presentation slides from hand notes or maybe some excel files or some drawings that the clients may give you based on that you will be creating PowerPoint slides but that would be only 10% most of the time you will be given pre-made pre slides or uh, or existing PowerPoint decks on which you are working on, you'll be working on. Either you'll be enhancing the visual uh, aspects of the presentation or you'll be just brushing it up. Okay. They have a key takeaway here which says great performing and high earning specialists work and master all types of projects. Okay. So it's not that you'll be only specializing on one part or one type of project, you need to work on all this. To become a master okay all right clients expect consistency for brush up projects what are brush up projects here they are talking about understanding brush up projects okay brush up definition clean up and ensure consistent formatting according to the client guidelines so in brush up projects you are not going to add anything on your own you will be just cleaning up and ensuring consistent formatting according to the client guidelines how it differs from visual enhancement on brush up projects you should never change the structure of the slides or add new elements okay so you are not going to add anything to the slide you are just going to change the existing slide that they will give you and uh, make it look better according to the client guidelines that is most important now apply client guidelines on all elements and succeed on brush ups Okay. What are the guidelines or what are the things uh, that you need to look for in brush up projects? One is alignment. All the elements that you have should be aligned together or aligned uh, on some respect. Then spacing, you should be uh, taking care of the spacing, the master grid. Okay. Now, you need to understand that each of the slides will have a master grid that is an uh, invisible guideline or, or invisible marker all around the slide and you are not supposed to cross that your element should not go out of that master grid by any means okay that is very 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 important okay that is the master grid then bullet points uh, guidelines will tell you whether to use a box or a square bullet point or a circular or an empty or a full uh, bullet point that will be shown in the client guidelines then change layouts these are also will be given in the guidelines you can change layouts but then you need to uh, stick to what they are asking you to do then titles and headlines these are all should be consistent and font types and size again consistency is most important box styles you cannot have different box styles on different slides okay then uh, colors there should be one particular color theme and you should be using only those colors page numbers notes and sources those should be also consistently formatted okay you cannot have different slides with different uh, which are looking differently 
margins again should be same on all slides then chart formatting should be also consistent okay so that is the uh, guidelines or the aspects of guidelines which you need to look forward to consistency is the key when doing brush up okay consistency is the key you must be consistent on all the elements on all the aspects of your powerpoint slide design while you are doing the brush up projects okay then they're saying uh, some do's and some don'ts do's are like uh, like this you can see the slides are very consistent they look very similar to each other but here uh, there is a title misplaced okay this title is a little lower than that one then the, this color is wrong then here the logo is missing so these are the inconsistencies which you need to avoid while doing the brush up projects or any project for that matter but then in brush ups you will only be uh, judged or you only be required to take care of this first okay then uh, the key takeaway here is uh, when you are about to submit your slides bring your ppt to display mode and flip through the slides ensure all elements are displayed consistently throughout the text so this is something you will see repeatedly on their uh, files on their documents because they want you to put this powerpoint uh, deck on uh, full screen mode or on display mode or powerpoint show mode and then go through each of the slides one by one so that you can visually check whether there is uh, some kind of inconsistency in the slides and if there is something then you can remove it or uh, change the design again this is very important okay now next uh, they have some brush up before and after examples this you uh, must have seen in the previous videos when i showed you that thing and uh, they're saying brush input so these are these are brush up input slides and these are the output slides you can see how they have changed the size without modifying the content without modifying the content without adding any elements or something okay they just uh, changed the look and feel of the slide based on the client client guidelines okay so they're saying to brush up clean up and don't be creative so you don't need to be creative don't have to create anything on your own just clean up and make it look better okay don't don't be creative add icons or change the structure so they're saying no need to add icons no need to change the structure these are not required to be done on brush up projects okay so here you can see they have added some icons which uh, may not be required in brush up projects okay so these are like visual enhancement projects all right next is understanding the visual enhancement okay client expect consistency and re redesign or uh, redesign for visual enhancement so improve the structure and or add new graphic elements so here when you have a visual enhancement project only there you can add new graphic elements and change the structure of the slide how it differs from brush up visual enhancement goes on top of brush up you still have to have the have to align elements and uh, follow guidelines obviously but you also have to change the structure and add new elements now as i told you brushing up is important for all projects you cannot have uh, the elements not aligned with each other and you cannot uh, avoid the guidelines but along with that along with brush up when you are also changing the structure or you are adding some new elements that makes the visual enhancement uh, sites slides or projects okay that's the difference between a brush up project and a visual enhancement project now understanding the visual enhancement continues abstract illustration of visual enhancement you can see there this is uh, an input slide and this is the output slide where they have added icons which is something addition and they have uh, changed the structure as well earlier the structure was like a horizontal or oh, sorry vertical structure and now it is horizontally they have uh, placed the content horizontally that's the change in structure as well okay so that's how you should be working on the visual enhancement projects the key takeaway here is that uh, read and understand what the client wants to convey before you begin designing very important that you read all the guidelines and understand what the client is looking to do before you start designing and if you get uh, any doubt or if you want any clarification on this please contact the admins or the project manager before you continue your work okay that's how you should 
approach or handle the visual enhancement projects now visual enhancement means a creative effort so here you can be uh, creative okay before getting into this list let's see the key takeaway it says the list to your left left is not exhaustive okay there are a lot of other things also and you should not limit yourself to these bullets what matters is that the slides are visually appealing and look way better than the client input client input whatever they have given you the output slides should look much better than that okay how you can do it there are few things that they have given here like changing the structure adding logos and flags instead of company names and country names then restructuring the bullet points into illustrations you don't have to have all bullets you can have some illustrations as well turning numbers into visual flows then changing it to pictures to more relevant higher quality like the background uh, picture like this here okay recreating pictures figures into powerpoint elements then using colors to highlight key points like you saw in the previous uh, structure you can see here uh, all the graphs or the all the columns are of same same uh, color but this one is red so that the focus is on this particular column that's what they're saying uh, in this slide when they say using colors to highlight key points i wanted to highlight only one column and that i've done using colors then adding visual elements uh, converting simple charts into infographics adding maps adding icons adding background a lot of other things that you can do to enhance the slide okay so this is an example of visual enhancement this is uh, the uh, slide the input slide and this is the output slide the input slide was about uh, eight parts of speech and they have uh, given a definition and examples so they have changed it um, the, the entire structure here like this guidelines followed lines added designs are added then icons added then new structure with the explanation of the eight parts of speech okay so this is how your uh, visual enhancement projects should look like the next is the difference between brush up and visual enhancement brush up you are only looking at alignment the master grid change uh, layouts font type and size color margins spacing bullet points titles and headlines box styles page numbers notes and sources and chat formatting so these are the things that you are looking into in a brush up project in a visual enhancement project you're looking into all this all right you're looking to all this plus what you're doing you're also restructuring of bullet points into illustration you are rebuild uh, you are rebuilding the pictures into illustrations adding icons changing the structure of the slides uh, then again adding logos instead of company names adding flags instead of country names building stock photos and replace with icons at times these are all dependent on the particular project that you are working on using colors to highlight key points as i told you turning numbers into visual flows uh, turn tables into powerpoint based shapes changing or editing pictures to more relevant or higher quality so these are the things that will enhance the given slide okay that's the difference between a brush up project and the visual enhancement project now this is the third type of project where they are saying problem solving skills are sometimes required on special projects, differences and other than other projects. Okay. Now some some projects will have only PDF files you need to change them to slides. Okay. Some will have Excel files, they will send you Excel, you need to make uh, PowerPoint presentations or slide decks from the scratch. Then again, notes to slides. There can be some handwriting, handwritten drawings or some notes by the clients. You need to use those and convert them into full-fledged PowerPoint presentations. Okay. Also, vector-based design, word formatting, etc. These are the other skills that you might need while creating this kind of uh, PowerPoint slides from the scratch. Now, what are the key takeaway from uh, here? It's uh, have a problem-solving mindset. That is, uh, if you have a problem in your uh, in your hand you should be able to solve that problem okay that's the mindset they are talking about on special projects the projects may not be straightforward but effort is rewarded obviously this kind of projects is not uh, are not straight straightforward they will not tell you what exactly you need to do but they'll just give you the notes and you need to apply your expertise and your uh, experience with handling such projects and make awesome 
PowerPoint slide decks which the clients will love. Okay, so that's what you should be doing in these special projects which are like 10% uh, of the entire work that you do. Okay, so that's all we have in this uh, particular document. In the next video, we'll see the next document which is about understanding projects. Okay, thanks a lot for your attention so far. I'll see you in the next video.